Setting up or updating your Trailblazer community profile can be done in just a few steps. On the top right, you will see your name and an icon. Click on the icon and then click on Profile to open up your trailblazer.me ID page. It looks a lot like any other social network. If you click on the pencil icon on the top right, a pop-up screen comes up. If this is your first time visiting the Trailblazer community and your first time signing up for a profile, a similar pop-up will come up and will walk you through editing and creating your profile. The first thing I would recommend, though it is not required, is to upload a profile picture. Like any other social network, it just helps other users connect with you. You can do that by clicking on the camera icon. First name and last name are required. Title is not a required field, but it is highly encouraged. In my case, my title is Customer Adoption Analyst. However, that doesn't describe what I do too well. So for the purposes of my profile, I have chosen to go with Webinar and Communities Manager. My role is required. You have several options to choose from. Pronouns is also not a required field. However, it is available to you should you want to specify those. Relationship to Salesforce gives you the options of customer, partner, non-customer prospect, or Salesforce employee, and that is a required field. Short bio is not required, though we also encourage you to fill that out if you want other users to know a little bit more about your professional history with Salesforce. The URL is required and allows you the opportunity to create a short URL that you can share with other users or even include on your business card. Location, country, and state are both required. My company is also required. And then at the bottom, it gives you the option to share any social networks that you're comfortable with sharing on this platform. Once you're done setting up your profile, you can click save and you're done.